Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. If you'd like to find out more about me, please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com. I do Facebook video, FaceTime, Skype, and phone sessions for folks who are not local to North Central New Jersey. You could find me on SoundCloud where I've put up scratch demos and I've done covers of songs. One day I hope to have a CD. You could find me on Twitter and you could find me on LinkedIn. On Facebook, please like my Joni's White Light Healing fan page. And if you'd like to friend me, message me and tell me how you found me because I don't friend strangers. I only bring in the highest of light. I do not bring in trainees or lower vibrations. This is not fear porn. I'm only working with the highest. Archangels, ascended masters, angels, departed ones, guides, elementals, consciousnesses, star beings. There are no timestamps on these videos. If you watch this past June 1st, 2020, spirit knows that you were going to watch this. Therefore, it probably will resonate. And if it does not, I recommend shelving it rather than trashing it because you might have an aha moment later on. Today, we are going to be doing a June love reading. So I've been doing monthly love readings for folks who are single, looking, and married. Living together, partnered, love. However, in what form? So I'm going to be doing a channeling for the collective. Um, if this does not resonate with you at all, then it, it wasn't meant for you. I, I look up tarot card readings and uh, sometimes they just totally are not for me whatsoever. And it's obvious. I mean, the, the content is for others of the same astrological sign. So... If you are hearing things through the whole video that have nothing whatsoever to do with your circumstance, sure, you could shelve it. Maybe at a later date it will match, but it is possible that it, um, that you, maybe you just needed to say, hi, Joni, bye, Joni. So with that being said, I'm going to go in and see what spirit has to say for the lovers, for the single for the looking, for the living together, for the marrieds, and we'll go from there. Sometimes I jump around, sometimes it's more linear. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing I got is shaft. So someone just got the shaft. So for those of you who are duns, for those of you who left someone or they left you, this I'm, I'm seeing a splicing and a cut. So for those of you who uh, are in the middle of heartache, and there is suffering, I suggest you take time out. I see peace right now. So this knife, the knife I see is a cutting and a removal and a separation and also the knife in the heart. So blessings and healing are going to all of you. You need to rest. That's what is the most important thing for those of you that have gone through heartache and separation, whether you have done this to another or they have done this to you. It could also be mutual, okay? Have a sip of water. There are angels that are guiding you right now. There's a lot of chatter, and I believe that the water is infused with love. So you can pause this video, get a little bit of water, and do some sipping. And there's a beautiful mantra. It's very simple. It might sound trite. People might think they're looking for something that's more highfalutin. It's, I'm okay. And that if you believe that you are okay and you feel that you are okay, you will bring yourself to that vibration of being okay if for today you do not feel that way. I'm going to go more into why separation and, and cut. It's not working. We can't do this. I am unhappy. This doesn't resonate with what you're talking about. I don't like this. Who are you with? What is going on? Um, and then I'm hearing someone say, I'm determined to make it right. So someone, it's almost like they have to leave in order to get it right, to prove to the other person that they're doing something about their issue. Some people are um, ill and um, they need a lot of, caring for and that you went towards them and they refused your care and then you said well screw it 
I tried to help them out. I really put all my energy in and they're refusing to have me help them. I want to, I'm devastated. So that's also like a rejection with a separation that someone really put their hand out and said, I can't have you. And they're very sick. They're very sorrowful. So this is not your job. You did all that you could. You tried. Uh, the rejection is really deep and that I'm very sorry, but you can lead a horse to water. You can't make them drink. You can extend your assistance. You're being of service. But if another is not allowing you to, um, if you're not permitted, if you're not allowed the entry point, then you just bless them and you accept it and you move on. I'm going to go in more regarding the splicing and the cutting. Some of, some of you have genuine disdain for another. You are really like repulsed. Um, there are some people in your life that you, you wanted to be with and you're see, it's sickening to you that something is going on where you are absolutely turned off by what they are doing. And that this is important information for you. It's like food for the fodder that you needed to see the behavior and the angle in which that they're operating in order for you to make decisions. So actually it's a good thing. You might feel that you are in pain and that this is insurmountable, but you could get through this. You needed to see and know what they were doing. Repair, not sure about that. I'm not feeling that this is reparable. I'm feeling that what has been going on with the individual is not okay. It's a little bit nutty, no judgment here. Nutty is the third dimensional adjective that we're gonna to use to describe the behavior. It's not wrapped, it's not cool, it's off. The person isn't making decisions that are, are good for them and it almost feels nonsensical. It doesn't feel right to me, it feels off. And I see you're justified in feeling the way that you do, that you're trying to, you're an engine and you're trying to move in and they won't let you, they don't permit you to, um, which is similar to the other situation of where something's going on, they're not well. The first way they felt physically ill, this way they feel mentally ill. So we've got a theme here. We have people who aren't doing well and these are partners in one way or another. It could be that you were dating them or you were living with them and they're off. And separation seems to be coming from people that are either physically and or mentally ill and they are not permitting you entry. Therefore, you need to make a decision for yourself about what is for your highest good. I see you're being rejected in both ways. You might also be dealing with someone who is both physically and mentally off or mentally ill and that it's not working. Have a sip of water for those of you where this resonates. I believe that this will assist you in managing the thoughts that are going through your head. I'm gonna go back in. So I'm seeing that there's a lot of lust and I'm gonna go into that. Now, lust is lust. I'm not putting a judgment on it, but when I go into the feeling around the term, I'm not feeling comfortable. So I wanna know what, what's going on. It's heavy. If there are pedophiles that are watching this video, you need to get help. And justice is served. I'm gonna go back in. There are people who wish that they were with someone and that they are alone and that their pet, the dog or the cat, has served 
to comfort them, to warm their heart. And that that is very, very important, that if you feel the need for human touch and your animal is nearby and you're holding them, it's okay. You can cry. You can want the human touch. This will happen. Give it time. Your pet is serving as a friend and a sounding board and um, a soul that beats, the heart beats, and you are okay and you're safe and that all is well. And if you think that there's something wrong with having a pet because you're alone and lonely, um, it's okay. Um, the animals are of very high consciousness and they know what you need. They're here to serve, they're here to guide, so you don't feel alone. There is no shame in your concluding that your pet is the friend that not replaces the lover, but that is the friend who, who scampers around and is there to assist you during your lonely time. I'm gonna see more. Well, I got that dating got all convoluted right now, that a lot of people were uh, really on their game. They were the boss of dating, and now it got all strange in terms of where to meet, how to do this. There are some, so many rules and regulations regarding distancing and visiting and meeting places that people are a little bit up in arms. I see people frustrated. I see people daring to do things they wouldn't normally do. Uh, It's it, the dating scene got confusing and a lot of people seem to have pulled away for now from that arena. Um, there might be chatting going on, but I'm not seeing a lot of dating. Um, hold on, this, uh, this too shall pass. Uh, there will be an arena where you will be able to meet. Not yet. I don't see it now. So you hold on. This is a temporary thing. This is this is um, this will ultimately um, launch. It will come to be. It will come to fruition. Where you'll be back, seeing people that you like, uh, meeting people, and having a grand old time. So for those of you that feel you'll never meet anyone, that is not so. Just imagine a hiatus and ask yourself what you could do in the meantime to stay happy and healthy and whole. Going in again for June. There are some people who have a choice. There are a few people that they're in touch with and they get to choose. The, the word that I got was pick. So I have to go from there and I keep asking a lot of questions. It happens in milliseconds. Back and forth, back and forth, what that means. And my um, computer just danged, which means truth. I got a ding, if you might have heard it. Um, I'm looking into the picking, the choosing. You know who, so I, there, I don't know, there's at least one person watching where you get, you have a choice of two people and one stands out over the other. And you, you know, um, with humility, you go in and you entertain that possibility. I think you, when you met the one that really entertains you, everything ground to a halt. And then you stopped pressing so hard with the first one because the second one is just so illuminating. So I think that you know, I, I think you're the boss this way. I don't think that you have to ask anyone. I think that you know who you're interested in and you're a bit forward and you will know exactly how to proceed. Follow your heart because your heart knows. Um, it's a wonderful pair. The two of you are fabulous together. If you are taking out your frustrations on your mate, if you're all wound up, you need to stop. So I'm seeing bullying, I'm seeing taunting, I'm seeing someone being taught, wound up. So for those of you that are 
bullying and those of you who are mouthy and short with their tongue, um, you need to stop. That it's very, very hurtful. Go inside and ask yourself what you are looking for. What is missing? Is it possible to attain these things? First pose the questions to yourself and then try and answer them and come up with solutions. It's not okay to frighten someone else or belittle someone else. You need to work on yourself first, then you'll be a better partner for them. If you do not treat your partner uh, in accordance with the love laws, then you should not be with them. See if there's more regarding June love. I see more of a standstill and I see a calm uh, overall, I'm not talking about the bullying um, or the splicing heartache that's fraught with emotion. Overall things, they come to pass. I see some repeat performances. Maybe someone shows up out of the blue and that's a surprise for someone. Someone just absolutely shows up and, and um, blows the lid off of, of something and says, didn't you know, didn't you know? And then the other person's like, oh my God, this is amazing. So there will, there will be a bunch that are met with surprise, that someone comes out of the blue, ability, you'll reunite, uh, you'll be together. Some of you might not entertain this. So for some of you, you'll take the person up on their offer when they return. And for others of you, you have no, oh, that's so buried and done. There's just nothing left. The resurface, it could come in June, towards the end of June. I wouldn't hold, I, I wouldn't have you hold me to a date. They give me June 17. I have no idea what that is, but for some of you, it's like a surprise or someone does a re-entry. See if there's anything left. So I'm, they give me scrounging around for morsels. So for some of you, it's slim pickings and that's okay. Um, don't just take what's there because it's slim pickings. You have dignity. You don't have to settle. Things are unfolding. Things are calm. Many of you are bored and they say spice it up. So if you're in a tangle, if you're bored, if you want more, find ways to juxtapose yourself in a situation so you're entertained, so you're having fun, spice, life. You create your reality, you make it better, no one's gonna do it for you. And if anyone is demanding on the universe or demanding on another person that something be a certain way, it will not work. When you push against the river, it's gonna push back. It just flows. Surrender to it, watch everything unfold, do what's in your control and let the rest go. But once you start making demands which have expectations involved, it pushes back. There's a catapult or boomerang effect back on you. Be your best friend, be the highest version of yourself and love wins. So for June, I'd say we have the splice and the heartache. And I see the pets taking care for those who are lonely. And I see your wishing that things were different so you could meet people again and have a better time at this all. This love game, this love 
drama, partnering, living together, marriage, it's being tested. And the energy is strange. It's pressing down a bit. It makes people worried. It makes people rethink and question and get insecure. Love is a friend. It is not a foe. Take the word love and put it on a piece of paper and it will infuse itself to you. Ground yourself with any of the grounding stones, hematite, shungite, jet, obsidian, onyx, tourmaline, smoky quartz. And if you don't have a crystal, you could imagine that any one of these is grounding you so you don't feel tired and listless. Sip water between now and when you go to sleep. There are angels working on many, many of you. and watch for signs, watch for your divine signs. You are getting animal totem signs. There are chipmunks and turkeys and there are all sorts of animals that are showing up on your path. Look them up, look up the meaning of the animal spirit totems, what they have to say to you. There's a lot of nature that's communicating with you now about love. I hope this assisted. I will be back doing more readings. And I'll see you again. Bye, y'all.